could just stand still. She's got a white Mercedes, and I know she will. And then the beat comes. I love the comfortable feeling of not wearing shoes, but sometimes it's just not reasonable. The terrain. But they can go anywhere. You can walk on rocks, you can go in the water, you can climb a tree in them. It's like being barefoot, but not being barefoot. It's perfect. That's mine. They're, they look kind of silly. <laughs> um, they're kind of funny looking, but I don't really have any moral problems with them. And if you want to wear them, go for it. About them. Oh my god, they're so horrible and... I personally do not own a pair of those weird foot shoe things, but I think that if you want to be barefoot, then just be barefoot. Like, and then put like flip-flops on when you go inside or something. It's not that hard to just be barefoot outside. I don't have an opinion. Is that a problem? Okay. I like them. I think they're pretty cool. My friend Amanda has some and she never went back. Like, once you go toe shoes, you never went back. Or that's the thing. I love them so much. I love that like I can walk super easy in them. They're great for knee problems because I have a lot of knee problems and they're waterproof and you can wash them in like the washers. They're super easy to clean and they're super nice and they're really good for you. They're gross. They're disgusting. If you wear them I judge you really hard. Yeah. Like I, what the hell? Why do you want your toes confined in a tiny little space? It looks horrible. Like poor little toes can't breathe. It's worse than Crocs. Toes have all their own personality. And like, my toes, like, want to be free. Yeah. And paint it. Free your toes. And yeah. The and then the paint nail polish will come off. <laughs> it looks disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. I'm done. I've worn the shoes. <laughs> I think they're pretty freaky. I would really like a pair of the freaky toe shoes. I think they're pretty cool. And um, the only reason I don't like them is because my sister, who has fibromyalgia, um, they're like it's specific. There are pairs of pairs that are really good for people who have chronic pain, and they help you like walk and not feel like like you're dying the entire damn time. So they are they're good for those kinds of feet. But plot twist: my sister's allergic to latex, so she can't wear them. So I'm kind of ambivalent. I would I would buy them for myself, but I feel kind of weird because my sister can't have them. So I don't really have an opinion on toe shoes. I'm for toe shoes, kind of. When I first saw them, I literally thought the person was wearing toe socks. Okay, Vibram is pretty really cool. awesome. Vibram. They're Vibram. They are Vibram and they're Vibrams. awesome. Aaron. Regardless of what they're called, they're Vibrams. pretty cool. Vibram shoes Go look it up on the are internet. amazing. Freaky toe shoe thingies. No. Well, right, because the internet's always right. Yeah. They, you know. There's like, naturally you're supposed to be running barefoot, like that's how the ancestors did it. You ever, re book suggestion, Born to Run, very good book. That's what it was based on. Yeah. It's a very good book. And it talks about how like heel support and shoes and all the high tech stuff is like really bad. It really messes up from like stirrups. Yeah. It's from stirrups and horses. They need a yeah. But like, there is also been research done saying uh, running with very, very little full sport uh, for long distances is not necessarily a good thing either. I don't have an opinion because I don't own a pair. And I've never tried them out, so I don't know what they're like. The end. The end. They're just stupid. Plain, flat out stupid. Feet are ugly. Oh, you're not weird. Not Just go barefoot. You're all crazy. I feel that people can wear whatever shoes they want. If they're comfortable, that's great. That's it. The Vibram toe shoes are an amazing opportunity to run like you're barefoot, but actually wear shoes. They're so much safer because you feel the dirt on your feet and you feel the earth below you. You feel centered, but you don't get any nails in your feet. That's always good. I have very strong opinions about these shoes. They are, they are offensive to the American people as a whole. I mean, they, they show toes, 
They show toes. This is this is uncomfortable. This interview is over. Over. <laughs> so some people have some concerns on campus about these freaky five finger toe shoes. I think that I have the perfect solution. You get these. They're called Merrells, and they have the zebra bottom, but they look normal. Yay! Everyone's happy. They're really, really awesome for knee problems. My physical therapist actually told me to buy them. So, and they have worked amazingly ever since. They are sweet, just like five fingers, and they look awesome. So I strongly suggest you go out and buy yourself a pair of Merrells. Yeah. Hello friends, and welcome to this week's episode of Busted. I'm Erin Moran, the host of your show, and this week I have a special guest star, Dr. Olivia Knopfsinger from the University of John Hopkins. Wait, John Hopkins University. <laughs> Thanks for coming in, Olivia, doctor. Thank you for having me, Erin. Um, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing well, you know, yeah, just doing some research. It's very good, good very mm -hmm. good. Um, so today, I don't know, I informed you of this, but today we're going to be talking about the, um, the Vibram shoes, the mm. new craze sweeping the nation. Basically what this is, it's a shoe that I have a pair here. Um, it's a normal shoe, but then the toes are all separated, mm. so they're put together. Let's put these right here. Do you have any words to say about them? You know, Erin, that's funny that you asked because as you were taking them out, I almost thought they were a pair of feet, you know? Because <laughs> what? <laughs> it's they, almost like there are no shoes on those feet, you know? You are you're very right. It just looks like a pair of feet. It just looks like a weirdly colored person's feet. <laughs> it does. Wow, you know, fascinating toes. research. You know, the, the sticky bottoms, you know, my, my feet get sticky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost like... It's almost like a pair of feet you got there. <laughs> it is. You know, but I see now that they're vibrams. Yes. They're, they really are all the rage. Um, so has your um, institution been doing some research on these feet? Yes. Or um, shoes? <laughs> yeah. We have been um, actually quite instrumental in, um, wow. in the education and the research of these type of footwear. Wow. That's very fascinating. Because they really are um, groundbreaking, if you don't wow. mind the pun. <laughs> of people that are very avid vibrant wearers mm -hmm. and some people that are very anti the vibrant shoes. Mm -hmm. And these are all a significant part of this week's episode. Mm -hmm. I believe that you've reviewed them. I have. I think I showed you that. I have, um, yes. Do you have anything to say to the people that were arguing that it's like running barefoot? It's like being mm -hmm. natural and connected to the earth. Do you have anything to say about that with your scientific background that she has? Well, one of the main arguments is that it's more healthy to run barefoot. Yes. And this is true. We have run barefoot as a species for several thousand years. Mm -hmm. It is, however, not natural to run with a coating of this type of plastic, which is, it is vegan. But it's not natural. I'm sorry. You weren't born with this on your foot. It's not natural. It is also, um, you know, it is said to be like running barefoot, but yeah. this does not resemble <laughs> a barefoot. I'm, I'm sorry. I Aaron. believe this is a shoe. I believe. If someone wanted to run barefoot or feel like they were running barefoot, yes. I think they should um, take off the shoes and run barefoot. I, I think that's a good argument, Erin. And also, you may notice that we've been calling them vibrams. Yes, yes. That is because the sole of the shoe is called vibram. Oh. And it's a shoe company because oh. these are shoes. So, uh -huh. you know, if you want to be barefoot, you can be barefoot, and, yeah. Like, yeah. Um, yeah, we've had a lot of people um, on the pro Vibram side that have been arguing also that it's not acceptable to go barefoot in society. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you have anything to say about that? Well, you may notice that the dominance of these shoes is more accentuated mm -hmm. in, let's say, the more blue parts of the world. Uh, yeah. For instance, that hippie school, is it conserved school? Ah, yes. Oh, yes. The northern part of where, the Where the hippies go, right? Yes, yes. The white hippies. Hippie Hogwarts. 
So like, yeah. Oh, yes. yes. Right. Yes. Um, they were pick on Wednesdays. They were yeah. flannels on Fridays. Yes. Yes. Shenanigans like that, right? Yes. Shenaniganizers up there in the north. And you know, they can get away with this sort of shenanigans. Yes, they they can. But you'd think, with such low moral standards, that they could also get away with not wearing shoes at all, or wearing burks like the normal hippies. Yes. Yes. Um. All right. Also, I feel like. If someone really wanted to run barefoot mm. and experience that, the more you would run barefoot, the more calluses your feet would um, develop, and the more easier it would be to run barefoot yes. and not be hurt by some things like sticks or something. Yeah. So the more you like work towards it, the more easier it will become. Yes. True of many things in life. Yes. Yes. Um, um, if you want to be a hobbit, be a hobbit. There you, you do go. it with pride. There you go. And. Um, you also might argue that if your society doesn't accept the way you want to live, maybe you need a new society. Hmm. Thought of the day. Yeah. Maybe you need a new society maybe if it doesn't do. accept the things you like. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So now flipping, flipping our perspective here and talking about the anti-vibro movement that's sweeping the nation. People that are trying to stop this epidemic that is, it is an epidemic. It is. It is. It is. Slowly seeping into our friends and family. It's very, very bad. It's almost like Crocs or H1N1. Yes, it is. It must be stopped. It, it has to be. We it, need a vaccine for this or something. It must be. That is, that is what gives meaning to my work. Mm -hmm. That is, that's very moving that you and your colleagues would give up your time and money to get help us stop this. <laughs> I'm so touched. I'm so touched. Yes. Thank you for all your kind work to this country. Yeah. And worldwide, we're sinking into the European Union and <laughs> all the other countries. <laughs> Content. Um. Yes. Back to the. Sorry. Yes. Those who are on our side. Yes. Um. They have been arguing that they're just. They just look silly. Yes. Any well, scientific facts to back that up? Well, um, our most recent study has yeah. revealed that um, about, actually exactly 112% wow. of the American population finds these wow. silly. So I find them too. You not can only silly, but unnecessary. <laughs> Completely. <laughs> there has been some, um, let's say backlash okay. I guess, um, to this information that has been released to the public yes, recently. Yes. And they say, how is it possible that 112% of the population agrees on anything? Quite preposterous. I mean, we're Americans. Yeah. You know, that's our job, to disagree. Yes. But the truth is, there has been a complete consensus, okay. ubiquitous consent, that these are ridiculous by not only the living population, but also the unborn okay. of 2014. Yes, yes. And also the those who have passed oh. in, in yes. the past year. Yes. I heard that was... Um, a lot of lawyers were finding that in people's wills, that they, they wanted their money donated to help stop this epidemic. Because they're so silly. They're just, like, look they're at so that! Silly. Just, <laughs> now, now, well, Aaron, I'm just going to bring up one more point. Okay. That is a very strong point okay. that is sometimes not recognized. Okay. Know? And um, that is that, you know, if you want to be barefoot, that's good. Yeah. If, you, if you don't necessarily want to leave the society you're in because you can't be barefoot, yeah. you know, understand. If you want to wear shoes that make you feel like you're barefoot, sort of, and mm -hmm. leave your toes as loners, okay, whatever. Yeah. If you want to stub your toe every day as you're putting on your shoes, that's your that's choice. Right. You're an American. Yeah. However, why would you pay several hundred dollars to feel like you're barefoot when you're not? To Am I right? To feel the feeling. Am I right? To feel it. Why would we pay? You know? It's not so feel that feeling that is free. Like that's a Sorry. Born given right of us to be. I can do that right now. Yeah. I'm feeling like barefoot. You know what? I'm just Let's gonna take go. my shoes right now. Let's go. Yep. You know I feel it. I didn't need to pay hundreds of dollars for like that. I feel barefoot. This is a great <laughs> thing in my life. You know, I, you know, maybe I'll work on some calluses. Yeah. I'll just work at it. All right. Let's, we'll right. do that. Good, yeah. Aaron. So, what else has your interview revealed? Um, we found that some people just aren't affected by it yet. They mm -hmm. don't really have an opinion. And I think that they need to step up and choose a side because they should probably pick our side because the other side is like a virus that's just attacking the blood of our country. Mm -hmm. It's attacking the patriotism and 
everything that the United States stands for. I say that they have a duty to their nation. They do. You know? They do. It's our job as Americans, and our democracy will not stand for George that. Washington would not be happy. He Thomas crossed Jefferson, the Delaware wearing shit shoes. If he knew that you were doing this. This would not be okay. I don't like it. I think that it's just something that some people need to step up and just start to just yell at people that are wearing them. Put your foot down <laughs> if you don't your, mind. <laughs> I don't mind at all. Well, thank you very much for coming in. Well, thank Enjoy you. Enjoy your nice fire thank and some, some, tea. some tea. Lewis and Clark would not be happy either. They oh, did oh. not explore this beautiful country so that we could run around pretending that we're barefoot. They did not do that. And they certainly didn't do it with some silly ass shoes on. They did not. I have a, a quote that a recent friend of mine gave me. Uh, we'll just send it, our viewers off with it and send you off. It says, go now, run wild, barefoot, and free. I think we all can just... I think that's fair. Give us all... It's time to stop pretending, folks. It is. It is. Just time let them be free. Let your toes just be let free. Them, just let them go. Even if you put them inside, oh, yeah. they need friends, too. They can be put together. Yes. All right. Thank you very much for coming in. Have a great Thank you, Erin. Great. Thank you.